hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl lala living here and today of day like i don't know what is this day 20th of quarantine self-isolation the whole coronavirus pandemic i'm here you know with a tutorial on how to slay and lay your wig okay <laughs> Today I'm gonna to be installing my wig. It is from EvaHairWig.com. This video is not sponsored, okay? It is not a collaboration or anything. I personally went out and got this hair companies. I'm open to future collaborations. You know what to do. Just you know, contact me with my email in the description box below. Let's go on. So this wig is human hair. This is a 13 by 6 frontal, okay? The density is 150, so I know it's gonna be really nice. And the weather now is getting warm. So why not come out and rock some short curly hair? It looks so good. The cap size looks like it's gonna be snug. Okay. I'm liking it so far. The lace is hmm not transparent or anything at all but i'm gonna fix that with my powder i just like to dust powder over it if i'm not bleaching it so that's what i'm gonna do let's get started so honestly coronavirus really just came so out the blue like like for real where did you come from so what i'm about to do is just take some water and spray it on the wig just to make sure all the hair stays back because I want to go in and see if I need to pull up any of the hairline. But for real, this virus just came out the way and like now I'm doing school online. Now shoots, everything is online like for real. Everybody could relate literally to this situation going on. And it's just crazy. It's like, when is it going to be done with? It's kind of scary. So you guys look at the wig. I think the gradient effect is pretty good. What I'm gonna do is try it on and then move on from there. So you guys, this is the wig right here, I think. Let's slide it back. So let me see how this part is, first of all. I see it has a slight, it looks like to the side. Okay. The hair is really soft, first of all. So it's kind of like a side part. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have my cap on underneath. I'm gonna fix it. I just wanted to see how the wig fits. Baby hairs are really nice. It has a nice creating effect. So the first thing I wanna do is get my wig down. Then I'm gonna go in and section it with the baby hairs so I can pluck the hairline some more. I actually really love the creating effect. It looks like it's gonna lay so pretty. I love the length. When I wet it up and put some leave-in conditioner on it, this is gonna look so good. The hair is really soft. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go in and wipe my hairline with some alcohol to remove all the oils and dirt from my pores and my skin. I find that usually when I use this alcohol, my wigs stay down for at least a week or like a week and a half with got to be and that's really good that's not even like a glue it's a gel so I think it's really good so I'm making sure that it's just really clean and once I did I also just find it so that it dries really good and so what I'm gonna do is put the wig right about here so I'm gonna go in with my got to be gel and I'm literally holding on to this with dear life Literally all the beauty supply stores are closed too and I only have this little small container left. I have a lot of my spray but I like to use this gel first and rub it on and get like a thin layer. But literally I have no more. This is it. So I'll probably check Amazon because Amazon always has everything. I noticed that the prices are all hiked up but at this point this gel is an essential item. <laughs> so 
So once the gel is pretty clear on my scalp, I like to go in with the spray. Just over the top to add a coat. Oil photo because it drains. I'm gonna roll the cap forward and place it right how I want it to lay. And you want to avoid doing any touching with your hand because your hand has natural oils. So once I put it down, I'm just going to use the back of this comb also and press it in. And I'm going to give it time to just set in and dry. I'm also going to give it one more coat, just very lightly. I'm just going to separate the hairline, what I want for the hairline, and the actual wig. Once I have it like that, I'm going to also take some foam. I'm going to mold the hair back. So now we have the separation over here. I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing too. I'm going to take some more foam spray and I'm just going to put it over on the top. And then I'm going to comb it back just to section it. Now that I section it all around, I'm going to clip the hair so I can tie it down. And this can help create like a nice hairline all the way across and then I'll sweep the baby hair into it. And now that that's tied down, I know I look so crazy, but I'm gonna just sweep the hair to the side. I'm just gonna play with this hair and see what this hair is working with. So I'm just gonna spray it with some water first. What I'm gonna do is create the part, I think it was somewhere over in here. Just want to get the hair laying to one direction, to one side. I'm going to do it right there. I'm going to spray some water. I'm going to put some foam right there. I'm going to add some of the curl activator also. And y'all, before I dirty up my nails, I did my own nails, like literally, I don't know if it, it looks a little, that's the foam between my fingers, it's not dry, but I did my own nails. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Yes, and a video is gonna be on my channel if it's not already up with the tutorial. So now that I had the hair sitting for a while, I'm going to take it off and see how it's looking. This is exactly how I want it to look, melted. Okay. So 
So I want to go in right now and do some plucking just to remove some hair at the hairline. All I'm doing is plucking right behind the barrier line that I made. I'm gonna start doing the baby hairs. So I'm just gonna spray some water again to separate the hair. I'm gonna use some foam also because I wanna use this time to mold the wig how I want it to lay. So that's the furthest back I'm gonna go because this is the 16 by three. So this is how far it goes back. What I'm gonna do now is just pluck right in here just to make the part a little bit more distinct. Because I know I wanted to wear this as a side part, I didn't use any foundation to like conceal the knots of the wig. So I'm just gonna put some concealer on my brush. I'm gonna go through my part. And now that I got my part, I'm going to add some mousse on each side. I'm just going to mold it exactly how I want it to lay. I'm about to tie it down again. A little behind where I have the baby hair marked off. So what I'm gonna do is go and take some scissors. I'm just gonna shorten the baby hair, my swoop. So now that I got the hair down, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna cut the lace. I'm gonna put it behind my ear right there. So now what I'm gonna do is just take my powder brush and dab into the forehead right along the line to get rid of anything that might not look like scalp. <laughs> And so the last thing to do now is to just go in and fix the baby hairs. So I'm just gonna spray and swoop as I spray. So this is exactly how I want it swooped. Right here is a little thick, so I'm gonna just do it that. So now that I got the baby hairs all around, I'm gonna tie it back around at the perimeter. So guys, I'm back. I decided to do a glam look. Soft glam, by the way. On my face, let me know if y'all like it down in the comments below. This is my first time to win, even using eyeshadows, period. So let me know if you guys like this look. This is my soft glam. You know, it's not too much, but it's like real cute. I think I did it. So if you guys do like this look, 
be on the lookout subscribe to my channel if you haven't okay at this point you should have done subscribe but subscribe to it if you haven't hit the post notification bell so you will be notified every time I post but let's see what what's going on with the hair okay I really like it I think it's laid down really nice and so now to finish off the hair I'm just gonna go in and spray it a bit more and you can see how the hair is naturally laid like this now I'm just gonna go in and spray it a bit more I'm gonna put in a bit of the foam just to help keep the curls So guys, this is the final look of the hair. And honestly, this hair is so soft. I have not used a brush at all to brush through this hair. I've only used my finger to like comb through it. And the hair is just really soft. I love the curl pattern of it. It, it looks good even if it gets big, you know? I really love the curl pattern. The hair was really easy to deal with. It wasn't getting tangled. It wasn't like shit and extreme. This is it. I love how it wasn't too much work to do. This is my first time really getting in detail with the baby hair. And this wig made it really easy. So Eva Hair Wigs, shout out to you. This hair is bomb. I cannot wait to rock this. When are we going to get out of quarantine? When? Because look, I even got the eyeshadow. I, I deserve an outing, like for real. This is a bit from where I was plucking it. But this is the length it comes up to real short and cute so you guys this is it for the hair tutorial I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't it really helps my channel out a lot when you subscribe to my channel and give feedback so don't forget to comment and hit your post notification bell so you will be notified every time I post but you guys I absolutely love this hair it was really easy to put in. I can't believe I got the baby hairs. Like, oh, they look so good. The eyeshadow, y'all. I'm feeling myself. Where can I go right now in the quarantine? I think I gotta go to the food store. But then I'll have to put on a mop. Uh-uh. Y'all, I need to go out because these skills I'm learning in quarantine. Yes, baby, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.